Today, we'll explore the city of Porto in Portugal on a budget with nine stunning spots you can't afford to miss. Our first location is Rua de São Bento, right in the heart of downtown Porto, known locally as Baixo do Porto. The area is brimming with scenic views, vibrant shops, and historic architecture, but our primary focus here is the view. So take a moment to bask in its picturesque beauty. Now that we've filled our eyes, let's take a stroll while admiring and appreciating the beautiful architecture of the city and its streets as we move on to our next location. Catedral de Porto Just 10 minutes on foot from Rua de São Bento, this cathedral is one of Porto's oldest and most impressive buildings with a Romanesque architecture dating back to the 12th century. If you'd like, you can go inside for a small fee of about 3 euros, but the outer architecture is a marvel all on its own. From here, you can get a breathtaking, clear view of the city's majestic port. You can even spot the famous Dom Louis Premier Bridge. We'll visit the bridge soon, but first, let's head to our next location, Ribera. About 10 minutes from the cathedral, Ribera is one of Porto's most colourful and lively riverside neighbourhoods. Strolling along the waterfront, you'll find charming alleyways, old world facades and views that feel like they're straight out of a postcard. It's postcard perfect. Ribera is a UNESCO World Heritage Site for a reason. Its vibrant buildings, cobblestone streets and lively atmosphere capture the heart of Porto. Only a three-minute walk from Ribera, we're currently on the first level of Dom Louis Premier Bridge. This iconic double-deck iron bridge connects Port with Villa Nova de Gaia, designed by a student of Gustave Eiffel. It's one of the most photographed spots in Porto. Don't walk too fast. Take your time to enjoy the sweeping views of both Porto and Villa Nova de Gaia. From the other side, turn right to get more great views of Ribera. But let's head left and walk up the hill, a 20 minute journey to reach our next stop. <laughs> Villa Nova Gigaya, known for its port wine cellars and scenic riverfront, Villa Nova Gigaya offers a majestic perspective on Porto, where we can get yet another breathtaking view of the city. <laughs> A 
If you thought that was the end of going uphill, you're wrong. Take a quick look to your right and you'll see our sixth location. Mostero da Serra do Pilar. This is roughly a 10 minute walk from Gaia to the top of the hill. And you might think this is a lot of walking, but when you get to the top, you see that it was all worth it. Feast your eyes upon the most magnificent and magical view of the city. Quick history lesson. This stunning monastery has stood since the 16th century and, unfortunately, was closed when I arrived. Still, it's worth the climb, as the views here are unbeatable. Take a deep breath, relax, and let the sweeping views of Porto and the Dura River fill you with wonder. You could use the tram at the bottom of the monastery or walk across the bridge as I did. But I promise you, it's not for the faint of heart. It was a terrifyingly wonderful experience that I enjoyed but would never do again. I'm more afraid of heights than I am in love with sceneries, to be honest. And we've arrived at our seventh destination, Jardin de Palacio de Cristal, one of Porto's most enchanting gardens filled with pathways, fountains, peacocks and chickens. It's a peaceful escape right in the city. While it's beautiful year-round, I recommend visiting in spring or summer when the flowers are in full bloom. The park also has an exhibition center with rotating displays inside for a small entry fee, of course. Then comes our next location, Praia das Inglesas, an inviting beach in Porto, where you can unwind by the Atlantic Ocean and feel the sun between your toes. It's a bit of a journey, about an hour and a half on foot, but you can also hop on a bus for just 2 euros and 50 cents with an even lower fare if you have a transport card. Watching the waves roll in is the perfect way to end the day in Porto. For a spiritual experience, Igreja Iberia Porta is a warm, welcoming place of worship located at Rua de Sores dos Reis. And that wraps up our tour of 9 incredible free things to do in Porta. Whether you're exploring historic sites, scenic bridges, or just taking the views, Porta has something for everyone on a budget. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. See you in the next adventure. O que Cristo tem que fazer por mim para me conquistar? Não. O pai de um jovem na Bíblia chamada a história a história conhecida como o jovem do Nádio. Ele transfere para Jesus a responsabilidade, a responsabilidade. E ele joga o sim para Jesus. Jesus rejeita o sim. Jesus vive de sim. E ele fala assim: tu quiseres, podes me ajudar. E Jesus devolve. Por que Jesus devolve? Jesus fala para ele: sim. Porque o si não cabe em mim, esse pronome eu não aceito. Eu não vivo a premissa do si, eu vivo a certeza. Glória a Deus.